What's going on guys? It's Harry or the Fire Gamer here and welcome back to another video where today I'm being I'm being doing a top ten and this was a surprise I was talking about my previous three videos that I've uploaded today. And I've really been a fan of the genre for a while and I thought I'd do one and mine is this is my first one and it is the top ten Marvel superheroes who should be in Infinity War. And this list includes of teams and just individual heroes and even a couple super villains. Because all these guys definitely deserve to be in the movie. So let's start off the video by saying at number 10. Wait for it. Number 10. The Defenders. The Defenders, I'll be honest with you. I, the only person I knew uh, who I knew about in this list was actually Daredevil. I haven't watched any of Daredevil or Jessica Joan or Luke Cage or... Iron Fist hasn't come out yet, so... Definitely not any of Iron Fist. And if I get louder... Ooh, sorry. And... Uh, and that's not... The Iron Fist costume looks so fake in this one. But they've been in the Netflix TV show and they've gotten good reviews, so... I think that they deserve to be in Infinity War. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Number nine, Taskmaster. Taskmaster can anticipate anybody's fighting by watching the, anyone's moves by watching them fight. And that would go well for the Avengers if he was on their side, like the Avengers and the Guardians. But it would also be awesome to see if he was on Thanos' side, because I'd just love to see Taskmaster actually get into the cinematic universe. Number eight, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is set to have a movie come out in either 2008 to 2000, 2008, 2018 to 2019. And she's got cosmic powers, so I think that they should include her in Infinity War, because Infinity War is in 2018. And if she's if her movie's in 2018, that could work out well, but... I think it's 2019 for her, and I think she would be glad to help out the Avengers. Although she might be in the Infinity War sequel. Number seven, Carnage. If you're a diehard Marvel fan like I am, you know Carnage can do some serious damage. Carnage was a murderer before he became Carnage, and now he's even a bigger murderer. He's just unbelievably powerful and awesome, and just, I th think he deserves to be in just a movie, like, maybe even a sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming or something, just... I think I'd love to see him in Infinity War and stop moving the microphone. And yeah. Number six, Moon Knight. Now this is one that I've been disappointed about for a while. Moon Knight. How come he hasn't been in and he's been in no cinematic or there's been rumors for him to have a TV show along with Ghost Rider and Blade on Netflix. And I am all for that. I'm absolutely all for that. Because Moon Knight needs to be in something. Moon Knight is an awesome superhero, and they're just they're just leaving him under the rug. He and he's he's so deadly that he fought Deadpool to a standstill. Deadpool had to retreat. Yeah, he's that powerful. Even though he has, n I think he has superhuman strength or something like that. But still, next one, number five, the Fantastic Four. I said there were going to be more teams than just one team. The Defenders is just one team. I've still got one more team after this one, I think. So, the Fantastic Four. They have gotten bad movie reviews. And I'll be honest with you. I love the ones with Chris Evans and Jessica Alba. And I don't know the other two people's names. But, I don't... I think they should play the Fantastic Four. But, Chris Evans won't because he's already Captain America. And I don't think he'll even return to it. And the, the Fantastic Four with the four as the O was meant to be really sucky. I haven't watched it, to be honest, even though I'm a Fantastic Four fan. Anyway, but the, they, I think they should get new people in, and especially since they are, co the, they are like based in space, they should definitely encounter Thanos and take him down with the Avengers and Guardians. Number four, Squirrel Girl. And look how sleepy Thanos is. Hey, sleepy Thanos. <laughs> this isn't about Sleepy Thanos, it's about Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl has defeated Thanos and Doctor Doom. 
and countless others because Thrill Girl is powerful. All her, all her fight scenes are cut down so you can so you can only see the aftermath and the start of the fight. But it would just be awesome to see her in the movie. I, I know nothing about her. All I know is she's defeated Thanos and that would go really well for the Guardians and I have nothing else to say about her. Number three, the X-Men. Okay, you guys knew this was going to happen, didn't you? <laughs> the X-Men was in the Infinity War comics, and just because the X-Men are in Fox doesn't mean that they shouldn't be in Infinity War. Like, because they were in the Infinity War comics. I think I said that just then. <laughs> but they need to be in it, and it could be bad because the X-Men timelines are screwed up, and... So, they probably won't be in it, but... They might not even make any more X-Men movies, but... That's... That, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Number two, Deadpool. And don't criticise me. I love this photo. That's why I used it before. That might have just been because in Akame they had that photo of Deadpool. But I still like the photo. He looks so happy. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. <laughs> If you didn't know, I'm using this on PowerPoint, so it's a bit slow sometimes to, like, change over. And Deadpool... <laughs> got off topic there. Deadpool has been killed by Thanos. Like, literally killed. I mean, he, he, he hasn't come back from anything because he was literally killed by Thanos. But Deadpool, since he's been recently released into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think that he should be added into the movie. Like, but since he's on by Fox, it's probably not going to happen. Like, the X-Men thing. And like the Fantastic Four thing. The Fantastic Four is owned by Fox as well. Why does Fox have to own every good thing? That, why does Fox have to own Marvel things that should be in other Marvel things? No. Number one, Ghost Rider. Wait, wait, wait. Don't click the dislike button. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> think about it for a second. Just think about it. I'm not talking about any of the Ghost Riders they have shown yet. I'm not talking about Nick Cage as Johnny Blaze, I'm not talking about whatever his name is, as Robbie Reyes, I'm talking about them going back to Johnny Blaze, but as a different actor with a different storyline. Like, the Johnny Cage one, I'm gonna be honest with you, wasn't a fan, it sucked. And Robbie Reyes, just, in my eyes, he isn't a Ghost Rider. But they need to go back to Johnny Blaze, in my eyes he is the Ghost Rider. He, they need, they need to bring him back into the cinematic universe. Just, why would you leave him out? Even though he's... I think Fox owns this as well. <laughs> Damn Fox. <laughs> and technically he should be in it. Because it said every Marvel property since 2008 will be in Infinity War. He, his second movie was in 2012. Unless it was owned by Fox. I'm not entirely sure on that. But if so, he's probably not going to be in it. And I, don't, I don't want Nick Gage to return as... Nick Gage. Nick Cage to return as Johnny Blaze. They need to get a different guy. And anyway, this was my list of top 10 Marvel superheroes who should be in Infinity War. Do you agree with my list? If not, comment down below what you didn't agree on or if you want to add more. And this is my first top 10 out of my top numbers. Like, I want to make more of these, but... I want to make more of these top numbers, but they haven't just... I haven't been... I've just started, and I've been a big fan of the series for a while, and, like, top tens and top sixes and stuff. I'm going to make more top numbers, and I couldn't figure out which one to start on, and I couldn't figure out how to do it, so... Now I've got PowerPoint, and this was one I was thinking of for a while, so... Yeah. That's just about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't unsubscribe because of Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is awesome. You can't deny that. In the comics, he's better. Hey, come back. Come back. Sorry, I'm talking to my, I'm talking to my microphone. Come back here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Say see you, sorry, Spider-Man. Say see you, Fantastic Four. Bye. Say see you. Say see you. See you, see you, see you everyone. I'm just to see you over there. Say see you.